Steve, this is Science in the City. Today we're going to be talking about the science of skateboarding. First let's start off by talking about the physics of an ollie. Let me demonstrate one first. So you start off by pressing down with your back foot and at the same time you lift up and level off the board with your front foot and the board wants to pivot around its center of gravity which is right about, right about here, it's the balancing point of the board. Now that we know how to ollie, let's talk about the physics of a kickflip. So a kickflip is sort of like an ollie, but rather than lifting up and pushing forward with your front foot, you lift up and kick it out, so the board spins. So what I did there, the board center of gravity is along the center line. And as I kick forward, I also kick the edge of the board so it spins like this around its center of gravity. And the, by kicking my foot out, I'm applying a torque to the board. And the torque is what gets the board spinning. The moment of inertia is a big element of skateboarding. And it's the difference between a kickflip and the shove it. Now a shove it is the board spinning like this. And it, the skateboard has a higher moment of inertia rotating about this axis. So it requires a higher torque. Um, now luckily your feet are further apart in this direction so they can apply that torque pretty easily. Now let's try the trick. Steve is going to head over to the skate park, which is a perfect place to explore the forces of physics. Whenever you see Steve go around in a curved arc, you know there must be a force pushing him towards the center of that arc. Physicists call that force the centripetal force, the center pulling force. Watch as Steve moves down through the bowl. He squats and then stands up to pump energy into his body so he can gain height in the bowl and continue on. To understand that, we need to understand a physics principle called the law of conservation of angular momentum. When Steve is crouched down, going around in the circular arc of the bowl, and then stands up, he moves his body closer to the center of the circle. When he does that, he speeds up, and with that higher speed, he can move higher in the bowl or even leap over the rim. There you have it. Center of gravity, inertia, torque, and centripetal force in action. Thanks for watching.